Welcome to my new recording space. Today's project is literally what made me want to do YouTube long form content. Complicated Knots, this Frank and Amigurumi patterns on her channel, and I saw them about six months ago. And even though I've had a YouTube channel for a couple of years, this is what pushed me to do long form content because it seemed really fun and it was just something that I really wanted to do. That being said, what I'm going to do for my Franken patterns is a little different because I don't have screen recording. What I do have is a separate phone and some dice. And what I'm going to do is roll a D20 five times and then I'll make the corresponding number pieces to what I roll. Does that make sense? Oh, and I've already chosen out my color scheme, so no matter what the pieces are, they'll at least go together. So, let's move the camera from there to over here so you can see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to take my D20 and roll it five times and then I'll go on to Complicated Knots Discord and I will make those five pieces in one of these three colors. So, first number is uh, four. Then a 17. That's another 17. That is a 9. A lot of 17s. That one's at least a 19. And a 2. So our numbers are going to be 4, 17, 9, 19, and 2. Let's see what those work up to be. The first piece is piece 4 and it is by Cat War Knox from Complicated Knox's Discord. So this is piece one. I think it's supposed to be like a little foot, but if you've ever seen trimmers, it looks like a mouth. But let's move on to the next piece and see what we got. The next piece is piece 17 and it's by Novelty and it looks a bit like a feather. So I'm going to make it out of white and go for And this is P17. So, so far we've got a monstery foot and a feather. It's already given chickeny vibes. So, let's see what piece number three is. So, the third piece is going to be piece number nine. 
and it is by Sanity Creations. And it's going to look like this. Um, yep, that looks like a wing to me. All right, let's get started. So that was piece number nine. And I don't know, with the other pieces, it's given bird. Let's see what the next piece is. So the next piece is piece number 19, and it's by Complicated Knots, whose Discord I am using to get all of these pieces off of. And her piece kind of looks like a circle bit, which I have a feeling might become the body. So I'm going to work it in this brown color so that all of these pieces really pop when I tie it together. Alright, this is piece number 19, and I think I'm going to flip it that way because I like the way the rows look. But this piece was by Complicated Knots, probably have to do some creative crochet origami to get this to be a body piece. but. Time to move on to our last piece. So piece number five is looking to be a little nugget by Elf's Crochet. And I am going to work it up in white. Does it look like a skull to anybody else? Like a little birdie skull? I I think I'm gonna have a chicken or a bird of some sort. Y'all, that's a bird skull if I ever did see one. I, I think I'm making a chicken. That's our last piece. Yep. These are our pieces so far, and this is approximately what he's going to look like. So I'm going to make another one of this piece, another one of this, and probably a couple more of these and find some eyes. I'm going to go do that and then I'll be right back. And we're back with all the extra pieces, some eyes. It is the next day, but I think we can get this done pretty quickly. So I'm just going to start by sewing up the body taco and maybe give it a little more stuffing. Okay, 
body nugget done. I think the next thing I'm going to add is the skull. Kinda like that. So next we're going to put on the wings and I crocheted in different back loops on these pieces so that they will mirror and kind of have the same detail. All right, let's do that. I forgot to talk here, so what I'm trying to do is sew these legs on to where this bird has a chance of standing later. Okay, I think we're just going to go ahead and add the tail feathers and then the eyes. So, time for tail feathers. last thing to do is to choose some eyes. I do only have black ones, but that shouldn't matter too much. You can always paint them up a little bit. Hmm. Bigger. Or smaller. I think I think I'm gonna go with these big one here. Okay. One of these days, I'm going to learn how to properly frame my shots. Today is not that day, so bear with me while I work in the bottom quarter of this video.
I think I might crochet a top stitch here and see how that looks. Other than that, I think he's done. So it's time for some better shots. I did it. He's complete. He is the fanciest eagle chicken burb. I just absolutely love him. I'm so thankful that um, Complicated Knots let me use her Discord and all of the lovely people on there for posting pattern bits. And I know I'm not looking at the camera and that's bad YouTube, but oh my gosh, he's so cute. <laughs> so I did add the little eye ridges. I don't know if you can see from there, but I'll add a close up. And I agonized over it for a little bit. If it was in the true spirit of a Franken Amigurumi, but his face just really needed something and I think it was the ridges. He stands, look at that. I'm just so happy. So if you watch this, and if I was a little cringe, I'm sorry. This is my first like face-to-face -face video. And I think I've gotten a little more comfortable over the last few days talking to a camera and it hopefully can only improve. And I'm really pleased with this guy, and I'm really thankful for you for watching all the way to the end, despite the cringiness, despite the probably rough editing. <laughs> but um, thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing, and come back next time for something new. Yeah, me too, little bird. Me too. <laughs>